going on, guys? We about to check out her non-amazing looks with his weak self, man. I don't know what he's talking about, but I guarantee slavery and reparations is probably going to come up somehow, some way. He could be talking about waffles and he'll just throw that in the mix. He'll just throw it in the mix. That's what he do. That's what he do. Let's check this out. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Watch more videos. And if you want to watch me live where I'm just doing random stuff, reactions and sometimes ranting and just talking. If ever you into that, um, come and check me out. I, I like that. That's one hell of a way to sell your live streams, peace boy. It's a good time though for me. <laughs> like, let's get into it, man. I gotta make it entertaining because you know this guy's a cornball. Dear Black Republicans, they don't like you. Oh my! It makes it too easy. Who like you? Who like you besides the woke people? Nobody, nobody likes you. Nobody, your family don't like your mama don't like you. I know. She called me. Allegedly, she don't like you. She don't like you. Okay, you understand that when you go to the grocery store, ain't not a single person there ever liked you. Yeah, oh, he he goes again. Dusty hat, dust dusty hat. Yeah, he coming in again. He put on a fake smile though because they try to run a business. You know, there's no one like you. You can't tell nobody who else like who. Goodness. So let Dusty, me just huh? say, I know my way around a Republican plantation. Okay. I, <laughs> I've been on the Republican plantation. All right. If y'all know where the bathroom, well, wanted to know where the bathroom was, I'd be able to tell you straight down the hall, make a right to the left. That sounds crazy. And it shows your intentions was never pure. Um, but that sounds, that sounds wild, bro. Little bell right there. You can, you know, you got it. When I say that these people hate us, when I say that they despise black Americans, I genuinely mean that. And I'm not talking about sounds like, crazy. hey, you don't like this type of cereal or you prefer cinnamon toast crunch over honey nut cheerios. No, I'm talking about disgust. I'm talking about a certain a certain envy uh, that that is that permeates many of these these organizations that, that their event where at the moment in time where you actually are an independent thinker and you know history. Now listen to me, not the the whitewash watered down history that they try to feed you, but you know actual history. Yeah, shut your ass up. Lucas sounds straight out of comic book. This man sounds straight out of a comic book, bro. Just listen, my brothers, sisters, oh my goodness. See, 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 see. If you know your history, not the actual history, whatever I tell you it is, or what, what, what the honorable brother, Dr. Umar says to be so, don't ask me about his school. Don't ask me. School ain't never going to be built. Don't ask me about it. Just listen to me. They will flip on you, okay? Will flip. And it's really, it's really a peculiar, peculiar thing to see because you could be talking about one thing and then once you correct them on whether it was reparations, whether it's slavery, they will... Yo, I should have bet money. I should have bet money. I I knew he was going to bring up reparations and slavery. Like clockwork. Just like that. And they will see you as an enemy. Because what they wow. want many black Americans to be is ignorant of the history of this country. And what they do, they find pride. And they take refuge in your ignorance. And they attempt to weaponize it for their political gain. That is not... Uh, to say that there are a few, you know, good uh, or white Republicans or whatnot. But here's the thing. It's the same thing when it comes to the police. OK, you can't have three good apples on a team of 400 bad apples because now those three good apples are powerless. When it comes to Republicans, white Republican Party, um, you can't have three good Republicans who are like, hey, black people, black Americans are descendants of slave. They deserve reparations if their voices are being drowned out 
by the vast majority of people who are anti-black racist. It just you just can't have. I sound woke as hell, um, fam. Like it, it's pretty cool that he's grifting all the way. At this point, he is a loser. A grifting crybaby lose. Did I not tell you slavery and reparation? I said that. I was like, he's going to bring up slavery and reparations. It's going to happen. Literally back to back. <laughs> Yo, fam. That's why he ran from a debate. I called into his disagreement day and he ran. He blocked me, right? He blocked me. He told all his, you know, flunkies on panel to not mention me. They cried behind the scenes for a little bit, and then they banned me permanently. Oh, yeah. Guys, stop asking me to debate him. He don't want that smoke. He don't want that smoke because he know. He can't just say, you're white, so you don't like me. He can't say that to me. So he's going to run. That's and that is, it's not going to be impactful. So when I talk about the racist right, when I talk about racist white Republicans, I'm talking about the vast majority. I'm not talking about the three or four who are like, hey, I'm fighting with y'all. You know, I'm John Brown of modern time. I'm not talking about them because they have no influence of the party. They have no clout of the party. And you have to think about that. I say that to say this when it comes to these two uh, black Republican women or, you know, MAGA women or whatever. And it's really painful, uh, the discourse that happens because you have these two black women who come into this space and they think that, hey, we're all friends. We're all buddy, buddy. Hey, we we all support Trump. We're all MAGA people. We're all conservatives, you know, Republicans. And she comes into this this space. There we go. And the white guys, like, who is we? <laughs> I appreciate. That. Yeah, we just introducing ourselves. Mm-hmm. The MAGA people got to stick together. It's one country, one flag. So that's no, 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 no. Don't talk about MAGA people, but the American people. She do. The American people. But oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I kid you not. The white dude is like, he's basing this all on a Twitter call. A a Twitter, just a random, just it kill me content out of any. We don't know these people. Fan, that's crazy. That's just one person supposed to be representation for all Republicans, everyone in existence. Because there's one Twitter call. Like, who is we? Like, there is no. This guy sounds delusional. And what bro. happened was that apparently these two black women, or one of the these two black women, were brought in by another white guy, another MAGA MAGA white guy, and. The guy, the host of the space, told the white guy, like, hey, don't bring these people in my space. (laughs) Bro, I kid you not. I couldn't believe it when I heard it. Hashtag black. Black Chicago for Trump. That's what it says. Hashtag black Chicago for Trump. So who's Trump? Do you know Trump? Yeah. I'm new to this whole Twitter thing. What brought you in this space? I told you I saw my friend was in here and it sold up at the top of my screen. And so who is your friend? Miss Trevian. Who's your friend? Miss Trevian. Okay. So so Miss Trevian. What brought her in here? You gotta ask her. You? Mr. Tropic sent me a DM and said that you were he was gonna be in you know, his Tro- Mr. Tropic, I say next time, don't ever fucking bring these people in here. Oh. I don't want to talk to them. Jeez, 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 jeez. I don't have to be in here with nope. you. I'm- he said, hey, don't bring these people in my space. And the white guy's like, oh, well, you know, come on now. He's like, don't bring these people. Yo, shut up, dude. <laughs> he said, come on now. That <laughs> I would have like you can't bring me on something like that. I'd have been dying laughing. Um, but <laughs> whatever. I don't know the full conversation, but if this guy didn't want whatever, I, I don't care. Right? I'm at it. I don't go where someone doesn't want me per se. And if he is nasty like that, I don't think that that's a reflection for every Republican in existence. Like I think that's stupid and real idiotic to say. 
Even and my my person, as simple as that. Like, and the two black women, they got the reality check. Because, though. you know, one of them is talking about, so well, stupid. I got a, a national radio show. I don't need to be on here. I don't know to be on here. Bruh, I kid you not. I looked up her name, and the next thing you know, her, her Twitter account, gone. She had changed her name. Now imagine, instead of changing your political views, you go and change your name and still hold the same ignorant views that you do, right? You got so in. Why does she have to base everything off of one incident in one person? That sounds like really idiotic. Why? Like that's that sounds stupid, bro. Barris, that you thinking. had to change your Twitter handle, boo. <laughs> you you had to change your Twitter handle, and she's still talking. Lucas has changed his Twitter handle mad times in the last year, bro. Well, hey, Chicagoans for Trump, Chicagoans for Trump. Okay, I've been greatly matured politically, all right? S especially where I started from where I am now. I am ex I'm a new man. Listen, I haven't heard anything that Trump has said to the black Americans. I haven't heard anything. So when you hear many of these black people talking about, oh, I'm voting for Trump, I'm voting for Trump. What has Trump offered you? Nothing. I haven't heard anything. I haven't heard any of him talking about any platinum plan. I haven't heard him even address the black community. And Let me guess. You want reparations? You want reparations? Or the ability to cry to Trump about slavery? Is that what you, you want to be able to cry about slavery? The reason why is because he has to placate to his audience. The Republican Party. The Republican Party is a, comprised of mainly racist white people. Unfortunately, that's what it is. When you're telling white people in this country that, hey, they're under attack, okay? They're trying they to are. replace you. Diversity, that's what they're doing. DEI, CR. People who are attacking white people, in my personal opinion, from what I've seen, right? Uh, if not physically, I. Uh, seen those incidents and have reported on it and done videos on it um but as well as just trying to go at them on social media it is a fact t all of these things to try and 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 garner fear from a very you know low iq base i think that's disgusting i think that's evil but this so by your definition you're evil right because you're constantly starting to, or trying to start a race war based off of fear on a regular basis on every video that you do. So I don't know where you're getting all this bull crap from. But yeah, you're a grifter. It's clear. At the same time, if that's the people that you're trying to get the vote from, well, you have to tell them what they want to hear. You have to tell them, hey, they're under attack. It's okay to be white. You know, all it lives is. matter. White lives matter. You have to tell them these things. And if you're telling them these What's things. What's wrong with that? Well, then that's going to contradict. You have to tell them the truth. Like, what's, what's on this man's biscuit? Do you got a problem with them telling him the truth? You good? Dick, in contrast with anything that would benefit black Americans, unfortunately. Unfortunately, okay? So you have to look at this um, from a strategical perspective. And what makes this even worse is that one of the black women, and I, I don't know where she's from, she can't be FBA, because when it comes to, to Sambos within this country uh, who are FBA, I would like to believe, pray, that there are few and far between due to, to knowing what we have gone through as a people, our relationship with this country. And she goes and defends. We. What's all this we, we? I ain't French. What you, what you what's all this we? I wasn't a slave, Pip. Man, I got other issues that I, I, I got to work on. I got bills and stuff. What was you, what was you talking about? We, 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 shut up, man. Shut up. You out here, you the same person that will attack black people because they disagree with you, but then talk to this old as we stuff like, you try, you family, you've gotten black people's channels terminated, bro. I don't want to hear this we as a people. You part of the problem. You part of the system. The woke guy. The, the white guy who brought her in and didn't defend, defend them while they were in the space. I want you to think about that. The white dude who brought them in the space. When someone else says, hey, I try to warn y'all about going around those folks. 
And what he's referring to, what this person, this Twitter person is referring to is, you know, the races, the, the MAGA people, not all of them, but the racist, the racist Republicans. That's what you and insin- the white guy. Who- That's what you insinuated. And mind you, how are you supposed to base that off of what? How, how would you know that? Did they know that this guy was going to dislike them and not invite them on? Do we even know what was his actual reasons beyond the context of your small clip? Right. And even if he's nasty like that, why do you keep generalizing all Republicans who happen to be white? That's disgusting. Right. This video is for educational purposes, guys. Who brought these two black women into this space talks about, hey, that's ignorant. That's actually racist. Okay. Now, <laughs> upon him saying that, Guess who defends him? The black woman who was just told to get out of the space. The black woman would say, hey, don't don't bring them in here. Referring to her. She then goes and refer, she then goes and defends this white guy and says, hey, you know, they say that there isn't reverse racism, lol. And it just goes to show that, hey, not everyone can be saved. Not everyone um, wants to get off the plantation. Some of these people, some of these women and men are, are mentally broken. They're mentally broken. Yo, this guy is such a grifter. Such a grifter. I would need to know way more context, right? I would need to hear the full clips. Why didn't you let me hear the full audio of what was said and up until they left the platform? Why didn't you let me get that? And why didn't you let me hear before? Right? Why didn't you let me hear them before the other one came into the platform? It was just the one woman alone. Because you don't want to give full context, right? Because you're woke. Okay. Because they have succumbed to this adulation. Because they, they, they're, they program them Ooh, to, to be desiring the praise of the white Republican or of the white man or of the white woman. That's what they have, that's what they have conditioned them to do. And they're nothing more than seals. And it's so disgusting to see this because it's heartbreaking. It's like... You, you don't have to, you know, debase yourself. <laughs> you don't have to debase yourself in order to feel wanted, in order to feel loved. Shut up. Why? What is it? To, you don't have to do, brothers, sister, you don't have to do this to yourself. You can grist like me. And come on. With a dusty hat, with an American flag upside down. And then I run from every debate. That BXVs will ever challenge me to. I just, just be like me. That's, that's what you want. Be like me. No, nobody want to be like you. They don't want to be like you. They're, mm, 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 too feminine. Too, too much feminine energy. Right? But if that's your thing, I'm not judging you. We don't kink shame in the fan game. Live your best life. Do your thing, boo boo. Yas. Did I say it right? Did I put enough A's in it? Tell me in the chat, was there enough A's in my yas? I've been practicing, trying to relate to him. Going worldwide, this bitch. I digress. In order to feel empowered, instead of trying to, to cower and kowtow to a bunch of racists, why not make something of yourself? Why not build with your group? Why not use what you have been, you know, employing with them and use it with your group so you don't have to succumb to your such, group. you know, belittling measures. <laughs> but unfortunately, that Your group. <laughs> Just because of the color of my skin, I'm in a, a group? Shut up. Sounds dumb. No, I'm not. In, I'm in the fang gang. That's my group. Right? That's my crew. I'm in the fang gang. Right? That's my group. That was you talking about. That's the politics in this country. That's the politics in America right now, where you have a whole bunch of racist white people who feel that, hey, I'm being attacked. They're trying to replace me. Hey, DEI, CRT, hey, immigration, all these other things, you know, and they constantly will use black people as a pawn, as a tool for their political agenda. And then when you ask them. Hey, what? Even when when. Brandon was out here talking about, I'm not black if I don't vote for him. Word. Right. <laughs> you try to use black people right now to fight your battles, right? Because you soft. Hey, what about my political agenda? Well, they may simply erase you. What do they say? What do you mean your political agenda? We're all Americans. 
But when they what they mean by Americans, they mean white America. When they say America has a problem, they mean white America. And that's a hypocrisy that that led me to say deuces. Like I'm I'm an American. I don't know what he's talking about. I'm not listening to you know to your problems all day. When we as a collective have problems, but when when I say, hey, black Americans, we we need this, this has happened, this is happening, you dismiss it. You just call us lazy and say get over it. But when y'all have problems, it's it, it's it's a pandemic, okay? It's an issue. We all have to address this. And that right there is, is makes up, it's emblematic of the Republican Party. Anyways, guys, that's video. Let me know what you guys think. Anyways, guys. Well, I just want to tell you about my grifting capabilities. Anyways. Anyway, guys. Well, shut your simple minded self up. Um, but yeah, he sounds foolish. She definitely is a grifter. I see right through him. That's why he terrified of me. I'm the boogeyman to him. Uh, you say my name once, he hide under the bed. You say my name in his live chat, he gonna ban you. That's facts. That's just facts. But yeah, I don't mind cooking him from time to time. Tell me what you guys' opinion is down in the comment section. Hit the like button.